Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we got an unboxing. Today's unboxing comes to us from a store I haven't heard of before. Apparently, I believe they're in the UK, but they ship from China. I'm not 100% sure on that, but my item did come from China, so we're going to get into it. This is from Diamond Painting Factory. Now, someone in my group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. Yes, I share a group with one of my favorite YouTubers. Someone in my group had asked, had anybody tried this company before? And I had never heard of them. And you guys already know. And I've never heard of a company. And somebody asked, Miss Coffee's on the case. Okay. So we're going to check it out. Now, I did place two orders with them. So there might be a part two to this. Let me actually check the tracking. Okay. I wanted to check to make sure because I ordered, I placed two orders actually. Um, I don't know why I did it. I think I was debating on one of the kits and then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get it anyways. And if I don't like it, it'll be a de-stash item. Um, so I wanted to check this company out. And as you can see, it did come in the trash bag. Um, it has been sitting here for a day or so. Uh, I got, I ordered this back in, let's see. Will my information tell me? I ordered this on April 9th. And I received it on June 9th. So about two months or so. Uh, see, April, May, June. Yeah, about two months. Um, which for the, with everything going on, I wasn't shocked that it took so long to get here. Oh my God, there's two, there's two of them in here. So they are double-sided adhesive. Hold up. Did they print my name on it? Oh my gosh, that is Hella cool. My name is on it. So if you don't know, Miss Coffee's real name is Alicia Tepper. Um, they printed my name on the canvas. My name is on a canvas. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm easily amused. Don't don't mind me. All right. So let's take a look at these now. Now this has my name. It's a forty by sixty. This one is called Book of Life, I believe. Um, I will link them in the description box of the video, of course, so that you guys, if you are interested in these kits or any of their other kits, you can go take a look. Um, I'm trying to find how much it costs. That's not the right one. This one is the right one. So I paid £27.89, £27 and 89 quids, I think is what they call it. Uh, because it's in like the UK, so yeah. Um, so we're going to pay, or, okay, hold up, real quick. The Book of Life was $17.99, and then the other one was uh, was uh, $12.99, and then uh, I got a discount, which I'm not sure where I got the discount code from, but I ended up getting free shipping as well. But let's take a look at this. So all together, it was like, you know, whatever. I'll have the exchange rate up there for those folks that live in the U.S. like I do and don't know what 27 uh, pounds is so let's take a look at this it is secured in plastic now usually I'm not a big fan of double-sided adhesive but I also see I don't know if you can see if it's coming up on camera there's some tinging of yellow at the bottom hoping that isn't anything that's going to cause issue we're going to get rid of that plastic so we're going to unroll this we're going to unroll 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 all right and I did get this in round. We're going to give it a few minutes to rest. We're going to adjust you a little bit here. So it, did, it is round. So there's my packaging of drills there. They packed really nicely. They're very nicely put into the plastic. Uh, for your toolkit, you get a nine placer on a pink pen, a blue squishy. You can see the wax. It was in shipping so long, the wax melted to the squishy, no problem. Uh, there's a green boat and a pair of cheapo tweets. Y'all don't care about the toolkit. All right, so we got our drills. And we're going to take a look at the canvas. From the back side, there's really no damage or anything. Uh, again, you want to be very careful when lifting this up. It does tell me it has 28 colors. And because it was in shipping for a long time, uh, I do worry about it a little bit. And again, if you couldn't see it good through the plastic, my name is on it. So I thought that was really cool. And it's from, again, it's from the Diamond Painting Factory, which they do have the name of the company up at the top. 
So let's see if we can get this to come up without bringing them up. Oh, there we go. We're just going to pull it back real nice and easy. Symbol clarity looks really good. Let's give it a second here. Oh, we got a little bubble there. Little, little, oh, big old bubble there. And that's no problem. So what you can do uh, is you get a pen. I have my CJ pen here, or my TJ, and I'm just going to scratch those out. You want to fix the bubbles before you work on the canvas, because if you don't, it will leave a bulge in your canvas. So you don't want to leave those bubbles in there. So you fix them before you work on it. So it has a couple of bubbles, no problem. Um, I'm actually going to be laying parchment paper down on it. But first, we're going to try to get it to lay flat here. All right, so it is a book, as you can see, with some trees on it. It has water coming down off of it. I really, really like this image. It is getting a couple of bubbles and stuff in it, so I'm going to hurry up and put my parchment paper on it. And again, you can get a ruler or something and smooth this out. And this is a 40 by 60, which I'm going to guess it does measure the size. Let's see here. Could I have been better doing it this way? Mm, probably not. Give me a second. I'm going to recover this. All right. So I got it recovered. Um, if you're wondering why I recovered it. Well, I did a whole video or a couple of videos on why I feel that this can save your double-sided adhesive canvases. Um, with the current temperatures changing from summer to winter or winter to summer, depending on where you live, um, the temperature does affect the glue on these kits. So especially if you have a double-sided adhesive kit, um, I will have a couple of videos in the video up in the eye up there or up there, wherever, somewhere up in the eye, you will see stuff flashing at you if you're watching this um and it will have a couple of videos letting you know the difference between double-sided glue and poured glue uh how to fix a uh, how to fix a double-sided adhesive canvas and why you should recover your kit with parchment paper or release squares um it helps keep them from developing any more issues uh with your canvas and the adhesive that was used uh now, you don't have to necessarily do this with pour glue, but for double-sided adhesive, I highly recommend trying this method. Um, I'm going to pull this section back a little bit just so I can show you the symbol clarity because uh, I didn't think about that until I, after I did it. So let's see. So we have some dots, some equals, some Ds, some and symbols. Some We have a lowercase and capital D. Um, that shouldn't pose a problem, even though they're about the same color. Um, hopefully that won't cause too much of an issue. We have the parentheses and then the slash marks and the X. So yeah, the symbol clarity is definitely there. Looks like good quality. So let's look at the drills. Now it did not come with an inventory sheet. That is something I just realized. These are not weighed diamonds and they also did not come with an inventory sheet. So, uh, let's see. Do they have them in order? They don't have them in order. We're just going to pull out a random bag and check the quality. Um, let's check the yellows here. So looking at these, the bottom of them looks flat. I'm not seeing any knobbly, oh, I, I lied, right before I could say it, right there we have a misshapen drill, it looks like it's cut, or no, it looks like it's two drills put together, okay, that is two drills put together, uh, moment of silence for the drill that was just trying to go home and didn't make it, amen, so the drill quality actually looks really, really good on these, let's pull out another color real quick, what color is this, 993, 
And we also have another drill that didn't make it home. It was just trying to get home from that party and it just didn't make it. Amen. Uh, moment of silence. The drill quality looks really, really good. I'm not seeing any trash. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits. Let's look at a dark color. Because again, the dark colors are the ones that are the most mass produced. And they're going to give you the most trash. This is all the 310 that's in this kit. Seriously? Okay, so y'all see this little pathetic bag of 310? That's it. That, that's all I got for this. Um, this is going to be an awesome painting to work on. <laughs> but as you can see, it is in there very well. Uh... 996 and 3708 so lots of blues lots of greens some grays some uh, bluish grays we have lots and lots of white for that outer edge around the trees uh we got some yellows for in here in the bushes and a couple in the sky so yes this is the first painting which is uh i want to say it's book of life is that what it's called let me check real quick Yes, Book of Life. Book of Life call, uh, sorry. Book of Life is $17.99. Again, it's a 40 by 60. So let's check the measurements on it to make sure. And one of the other things I like about using the parchment squares or parchment paper, because I use the squares that are 30 by 40. So they're 12 by 16 inches. Um, I like using the bigger squares. One of the things I like about this is that you can still see the image, so you know what you're getting into. Uh, it does have two schematics. You have one here at the bottom and then one here at the top. So I do like the fact that it has two schematics. Uh, they have a mixture of symbols and numbers. Uh, I don't see anything that's going to trip me up too far or too bad right now. So we're going to measure this glue to glue. It should be a 40 by 60. So this way, where a quarter of a centimeter off from 60 which they tell you to give them a little bit of leeway so if we give them and actually it's right on the money for 40 so let's measure this again so here yeah okay so this is just like literally a couple of nicks away from 60 so it is true to size 40 by 60 it is a round uh, so far, I'm I'm pretty impressed. The quality seems good. Not all diamond paintings that are double-sided adhesive are bad. There are a lot of really good images out there. Um, and she had a very, very nice selection on her website. So I, will, of course, will link these down below. Um, so let's check this out real quick. All right, so we're going to get rid of this canvas, and then we'll bring out the other canvas. You ready? I also think for the sizes that I got that these should come out pretty well. So this next one is a 40 by 50. It's called Cute Girl and Unicorn Diamond Painting. It was $12.99. So let's check. And that's actually a pretty good price for this. Again, and this is in pounds. This isn't in US uh, dollars. Again, I will have the conversion come up on the screen for you while I struggle to get this open. It again is in plastic. I like the, I like the little touch of putting the name on the canvas. Uh, the only bad thing about it is if I were to, say, de-stash this and give it to somebody else, now they have my name on their canvas, But uh, which I do do that often. So, uh, But these kits I probably will complete myself. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to roll it this way to get the drills out. The back of it looks pretty good. And again, you have your pumpkin spice tool kit, nine placer on a pink pen, blue squishy, plate of wax, a green boat with no spout, and a pair of cheapo tweezers. We don't care about that. Whoa, okay, so there apparently is a lot of pink in this. Have you ever in your life seen a bag of drills so big? Good God. Let's look at the quality. <laughs> this is like a bag of grits. Every time I see a bag like this, I think of a bag of grits. It makes me hungry. So these are actually pink. I know they're showing up white for you guys, but this is actually like a pastel pink. Um, I want to say that says 819 and not 814, so we'll have to check it. But yeah, that is a big bag of drills. I'm not seeing any trash. I am seeing a little bit of something on the one drill right there. But other than that, oh, we have a couple of drills that have that little spot on the edges of them. So we're going to have to be careful with this kit to see if there's any popping drills. And for those folks that think that their round squares can't pop, yes, they can. Round squares pop just as bad as 
squares do. It just happens less often. But when you have little imperfections on them like those, you have to be careful because that could have potentially cause them to pop or not sit correctly on the canvas. But it looks like they give you enough that you should be able to discard the bad ones and work with the good ones. And that's really all you can ask for. You're not going to get perfect drills out of any kit. I don't care what company it comes from. I don't care if it came from the Diamond Art Club gods. Every kit is going to have trash drills. Every kit's going to have drills that have imperfections. It could be a little bit. It could be a lot. All that really matters is that you have enough of the good ones to complete the painting. I am usually very particular about the kits and the trash and everything else. But as long as you have enough and as long as there's at least one drill left over from when you're done, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you have a whole bunch of them left over. Because honestly, I don't want a lot of drills left over after I complete a kit. I want the kit to have enough drills to complete the canvas, maybe a couple of trash drills, and that's it. I don't need a boatload of extras, you know, because once you put them on the kit, they're not supposed to come off. So as long as you have one extra left, you, you have enough good drills to complete it. I don't care about the trash too much unless it's a, like a, a cornucopia of trash, unless you have a, a boatload of trash. I don't usually care too much about trash. I just like showing it so you guys know that expect that there's going to be trash because some people think that the drill should be perfect and the canvas should be perfect. And unfortunately for them, that is not the case. So, big old bag of grits. Here's another bag and we have, uh, this looks like 600. So this will let they go off the DMC codes. Again, I'm not seeing any trash. Seeing a couple of dimples, but the dimples don't mean anything. They don't affect the kit at all. I'm not sure where or how that got started, but I've used plenty of drills that have that little dimple. And what it's from is from them poking a hole in the mold so that it doesn't create, like, so it doesn't get a bubble in it. That's all that is. I've never had a problem with those sticking to a canvas or anything. So I'm not sure where that rumor got started that you can't use the drills with the dimples in them. You very well can, and they do not affect your canvas. I have used plenty of them and haven't had any issues. And this is Miss Coffee we're talking about here, okay? I've, I've done plenty of kits with dimples in the drills, and they don't, they don't matter. If it's a big dimple, like if it's a concave, then yes, don't use that drill. But if it's just a little dimple like this where you can see that they took and use something to poke a hole so that it didn't create a bubble in it. Yeah, you can use those. They're not they're not a big problem. So, let's see, 3750. This one looks really good as well. Again, I'm not seeing any trash, but you of course won't know the full extent of how much trash is in a kit until you actually start working on the kit. So, those are the drills. Again, this is another round if you didn't guess. We're going to lift you back up. Whoop. And this one is long ways. So yeah, so my suggestion, if you're going to gift a kit like this to somebody, I would ask them to put that person's name on it instead of your name. Or they could have your name on it because when you frame it, you don't really see that part anyways. Uh, again, there's yellowing on the side of the, the adhesive here. There's a little bit of yellowing. I'm not sure what that's from. Um, but as long again, as long as it doesn't affect the actual canvas, I'm fine with it. Whatever. Do your thing, boo-boo. So let's see what this image looks like. And of course, we're going to recover this with the parchment paper again. And you have to be real careful because if you feel that glue coming back, if, if you feel the glue coming up when you're going to lift your kit, put it back down, rub it, get some friction and some heat to it so it can adhere back down to the canvas and then try it again very carefully to pull that cover up paper up. So we're going to pull this up. We're going to take a look. Again, the symbols look... They look okay. I'm having some trouble right there already, I can tell you. Um, looks like we have a couple of blurry symbols, but we'll take a look at that here in a few minutes. Holy painting. And of course, I will have, I didn't say it for the first one, but you probably already saw it. I will have a picture of what it's supposed to look like uh, come up on the screen. And this is just cute girl with a unicorn. And it's a 50 by 40. I'm just going to pull it. I'm not seeing any bubbles or rivets in this canvas and we are going to try to keep it that way. So we are going to recover the canvas and all I do to recover, because I did have somebody ask me to make a video and I don't need to make a whole video for two minutes of covering a canvas. So I'm going to show you here. So how to recover. 
if you have the little four by four or five by five squares, you would just put them down like you would, like you're making a sub sandwich, like a hoagie or something. If you have the longer strips like this, you just kind of get it to the edge, lay it down flat. I smooth out the bottom part so that it's nice and smooth. And then again, you can take a ruler if you have a ruler or something that was, is flat and you just smooth it down on there. And I just take my thumb to smooth out any bubbles that have been created. And the parchment paper, putting it down like this will also show you if there is any damage to your kit because it will bubble up in that area. And as you can see, there's nothing bubbling up here. So we're gonna get another sheet of parchment paper. And again, let me move it up so you can actually see. You just measure to where it's at, lay it down, flatten out the bottom part of it. So once you flatten out that bottom part, you're going to then let it roll down. I'm gonna move this so you can see what I'm doing here. So we're gonna flatten it down. Just like that, and then we're gonna smooth it just to make sure there's no bubbles or anything in the canvas. And we're a little crooked on this top part because when you cover it, you wanna make sure all the adhesive is covered. So we're gonna ride the struggle bus here for a second. We're gonna try that again. And with the parchment paper, you can pull it up and off the canvas and it shouldn't affect anything on the canvas. So we're gonna measure this down here, smooth it down. Oh, oh, no, no, don't do that. All right. And if it's not perfect, as you can see, you can just keep trying just to make sure you get it on there the way you need it on there. So we're gonna measure it about right there. We're gonna smooth out the bottom part here. All right, get that bottom part on. And we're just gonna smooth it down. There we go. We just want it to cover the entire pasting area. We don't care about the rest of the kit, just that pasting area you wanna make sure is covered. Um, we'll check the symbols in a few minutes. I just wanna make sure I get all the bubbles out of it. Because if you don't get all those bubbles out, it can develop bubbles even with this method. So you wanna make sure you take something and scrape across it. Um, even if you don't have like a ruler or something, you can take a drill pen and that multi-placer works just as good. You just wanna find the bubble and scoot it to the edge. So that's how you recover your kit when you get them if they're double-sided adhesive. Now, we're going to lift this flap and take a look at these symbols up here. So the symbols, that V is a little light. These symbols look a little blurry here. Um, so it does have a couple of blurry symbols. It looks a lot better on camera. Uh, they usually do, so you have to be weary of that. But what I was looking at before was down here at the bottom. So down here at the bottom, there was something that was making giving me pause down here, as Teresa would say. Um, let's see. There it is. What is that? That is the letter E. And it looks like the letter O, but it actually is an E, but you have to get real close up on it. So uh, this one has a couple of little blurry symbols, nothing to call home to mama about. Um, I will let them know that it did have a couple of blurry symbols so they can do quality control, um, but I'm not looking for a new kit or anything. Um, again, it did take these two months to get here, which is the reason why I can just muster through that. So. There is our cute girl with unicorn. Let's see, does she measure the size? We gotta measure her next. It does have the legend on two sides as well. We have one at the top over here and then one at the bottom over here. So let's check to see what we got going on here. So we have zero. It's a Nick before 50. So let's flatten it out just to make sure. You want to make sure it's true to size. So just to flatten out the canvas. It's right on the money for, uh, no, I had that too far up. 
it's a nick away from 50 still. And then it's a nick away from 40. So it does measure true to size 50 by 40. I really like that image. Uh, the drill quality still, again, looks really, really good. Minus a couple of blurry symbols on this kit that would give me pause. That's really the only problem I saw with this kit. With the first kit, it looked absolutely perfect. I don't see any symbols that are going to give me any problems. Um, again, to store these, I usually would put them up on a pant hanger in my closet, or some of people might call it a trouser hanger. Uh, so yeah, so if you hear that sound, don't worry, it's the alarms. They test them every Wednesday at noon. So at least now you know, if you hear that alarm in my videos, what day I'm recording. All right, so we're just gonna smooth that out. So yeah, so Diamond Painting Factory. I'm pretty impressed by the quality of the drills. Uh, the canvases don't look too bad either. Uh, I would say uh, the only the only mishap I had was the fact that there was a couple of blurry symbols on that that last one, but this one here looked really really good. So if you would like to try Diamond Painting Factory, I believe again I believe the store is in the UK or where you order from is in the UK. And then they ship from China. Again, it did take it two months to get to me. So I ordered on April 9th and I got them on June 9th. So I think, what, that's exactly two months. So yeah, so you will wait a little bit. But it's, to me, it's worth the wait. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. But with that said, folks, uh, thank you again for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy unboxings just like this, please feel free to... Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. One more thing before I go. I did notice that there isn't anything on the diamond packages that let me know that it belongs to this particular canvas. So, uh, if anything, I would have to write something. And there's no, uh, there's no code on the canvas, like, telling us what the canvas c code is. Like a AW something or a PC whatever. Uh, this kit has 28 colors and the 50 by 40 pretty girl on the unicorn has 27 colors. So they both don't have a whole lot of colors, but I can see a whole lot of detail. So yeah, again, if you would like to try this company out, I will link them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Leave me a comment. Have you ever tried this company? Have you ever heard of this company? What did you guys think? But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.